by Newent Town against Cheltenham Saracens in the Hellenic League Division 1 West. Saracens still something to play for, promotion possibly, and Newent finishing the league maybe third, fourth from bottom of the division. And it's the skipper's last game today, that's Hayden Rust, number four. And uh, he'll be uh, turning to other things, of course, and uh, has his first touch of the game. Back it goes to his uh, central defensive partner, Pruchter. And already the home side knocking around, not hitting the ball long, which is good to see. But intercepted. A chance for the visitors to attack on that right flank. And it's Marn with the ball. He's got support inside from his skipper. And still he has the ball, but that's a good challenge and a corner. So right side corner for, for Cheltenham. Bit of movement in the box there. Up go the heads and that's gonna drop just over the bar. Good try though. Headed on by the uh, home side. They've got a chance here, but uh, played back to goalkeeper Cook by the skipper. But uh, only as far as the home defense. The ball bounces very high on this surface. And again, it's Marn who makes the run down the right. He's got past a couple of players. And still he goes towards the byline. He's got time now to pick out his cross towards the far post. Taken down by the centre forward. No chance now, but uh, I think the ball has gone out anyway. Ball is covered by full back for the home side. And uh, again, they play the ball away through Watkins. And the ball's been given away. There's a left foot shot. And that's gone wide from McEwen. Allard involved, but the ball has come back to the defence again. All the way across to Rust, back to his goalkeeper, who's had a lot of touches of the ball in these opening minutes. And the patience of uh, Newent, not trying to give the ball away at all. And that's a little bit better, that's a good move, and uh, Jones takes over, up the line it goes to Hawkins. Right foot cross. There's a header at the far post and it's just gone wide. It's a good effort from Allard. That's McEwen getting in and uh, that's a good challenge. I think that's going to be a corner. Marm moving across to that left hand side to take the corner for, for Cheltenham. Nasty ball and the goalkeeper has to palm it away. And leaning backwards, McEwen has lifted it off target. Barnard hitting in a right foot cross, very deep, flicked on by Price, but well wide. Throw to the visitors, back it comes to Marn, always willing to run with the ball, and that's what a defence doesn't like, and he's done well. He's got the ball out to the left-hand side, little jink, low ball in, and that's just rolled wide, and that was from Watts. Now then, the uh, visitors breaking down that left-hand side with Watts, He's made a really good run, he cuts inside and tries the shot and that's beaten out well by the keeper as far as Marne. Wow, and that's, uh, that takes a deflection for a goal kick, but what a good effort and another save by goalkeeper Good. Another corner from Marne as uh, Newent forced to defend again with the sun of course in their eyes. Pretty low, keeper's done well so far. Overcomes the ball, there's a shot, and it comes back out to Marn. Slight miscue on that. Marn threatening again, but that's a good challenge, and uh, it's Allard who does the defending, and the ball comes forward towards Gibbs. That's uh, new and keep possession. That's a good ball out to the left, and Hawkins. Uh, he's faced by Smith, and uh, Smith is beaten. Little left foot ball in, there's a slice in the air. The goalkeeper catches it smartly. It's a really long raking pass by Watson. Marn is completely unmarked on that side. He keeps it in. In comes the cross. There's a, an attempted near post header, but it's come out again to Watts. Right foot shot is headed into the air by the home defense under pressure here. And the ball finally comes out to Brignall. Brignall to Smith. 
Smith gets in a deep cross again. Missed by the home defence and Watts has a chance to turn on it. Plays it to the edge of the penalty area. The shot by Price is deflected and the home side can pummel it away and that's going to be picked up by Oliver. Good kick. That's a good head on and Grange has got past the defence but his touch is going to roll wide. But it's actually a corner. King's left side corner. As Newant relieve a little bit of pressure really. Good trajectory and it's headed into the tree above the netting there. And it's um, another corner to be taken by Jones on that right hand side. So Jones replacing the ball. Interesting lineup of players. The uh, Newman players are now running away. Up goes Gibbs, but his header is over the crossbar. So, Marne with another corner. This time, Smith has come short, and he gets in the cross. Home defence in a bit of trouble, and the left footer by Watts drops over the crossbar. Another chance missed by Cheltenham Saracens. Ball flicked on towards Grange, but uh, Barras does the uh, tackling there, and sets off on a run but the ball's played through the middle towards Price must have a chance now oh goodness me and he's hit it wide short corner to Jones from Hawkins and hits the ball across the face of goal and there's an outstretched leg and that's uh, Grange and he can't keep the ball down Color to take this free kick now dangerous position for Newant uh, few occasions that uh, home side have attacked it's been from crosses on this left hand side and that's tipped over the bar by the keeper Jones right side corner for Newent looking to break the deadlock here <coughs> despite the fact they've had to do some defending Allard helps him out with a short Jones's cross and it's smashed away by Barnard and this could be dangerous as Marne does well to get the ball past the defender Watts though loses possession and it's played back to goalkeeper good and Newent can clear so a little better spell for the home side and there goes Grange again that's good defending by Barnard all is rolled out by Cook to Bowers and he's got some speed clips it forward towards Watts does get it to him despite the slight deflection and Watts again shoots and it's again on target but uh, Good was able to field that one drop kicks it out to the right hand side and Grange but he can't control it it's helped out by Mikola back to Grange again and there's a bit of space on this side but Taman comes back to cover Hawkins row two the visitors Bowers to take it a little bit of movement from Marne and he's the one who picks up the ball. Turns inside, working from the left. Low shot, he's deflected and uh, Rust can bring it away. Jones helping out. Home side, just about managing to get the ball clear but they've kept possession well. Allard, slightly forward to Watkins, out to the right hand side, it's Mikola with the ball, swings it inside to Allard again, patient build up, out to Rust, right foot pass to Jones, that's good defending by Brignall, the ball's clipped through the middle towards McEwen, and the break is on, now can he score this time, he's been forced a little bit wide, Left foot cross, and that's nodded clear. And uh, the home side have managed to deal with that attack well. And they've now broken as well. The game turned very open in the last few minutes. And that's Gibbs. Tries the left foot shot, and it's just across the crossbar. Ball is flicked on again, out comes Good. Rolls it to his skipper. 
Hawkins the space on the left. And Allard finds that pass smartly. Hawkins has Jones helping him out. But it's played inside to Gibbs, and surely this time he'll shoot. Oh, and he hasn't taken a shot. Marne then to take this left side corner now, can. The visitors snatch the lead in the closing moments of this first half. It's a low kick, wasted. And there goes Gibbs, and he's uh, faced by Bowers. Well, that's a miskick kick by Allard, but he's fortunate because Watkins has picked it up. He moves forward with it. Grange making the space in the middle. Gibbs doing well again, getting past the defender. And there's another shot over the bar. Possibly two or three minutes left in this opening half, and still we haven't had a goal here, although several times we might have done. A couple of good saves by the home keeper, good. And some wasteful shooting by the uh, home side. Now Marne gets in the cross, the goalkeeper stretches, goalkeeper catches. And strikes the ball quickly downfield towards Grange. Needs to turn on this, but Oliver gets in the challenge. Watkins, beaten to the ball by Brignall, but does well to win it back. To Allard, being influential during this half. Hawkins been quite dangerous on the wing. Inside it goes to Jones. Gibbs laying it off to Jones, but that's a good tackle by Brignall. Well won back by Gibbs. A really good, wholehearted centre forward is Gibbs. There he goes, nice skill by him again, taking on Brignall, Jones, to Allard, forward to Watkins, to Hawkins, and here come the home side again, and again Hawkins gets in the uh, cross, and Smith has to knock it away for a corner, and Price knocks that ball on towards Watts, and the visitors are breaking again, it's a brilliant challenge though, Mikola. And the referee blows the whistle for half time. No goals here. Newant Town nil. Cheltenham Saracens nil. McEwen gets that to his midfielder. There's a low shot, but straight at the goalkeeper from Kaiman. Okay, the injury to uh, Price, making uh, him leave the field for a few seconds. Throw left side, and Bowers will take it. McEwen must be the one who are looking for, and that's a little head on, but straight through to good. All picked up in midfield by the visitors. Goodall's pass was uh, defended okay by the uh, home side, and Jones challenged by Price, and uh, Marne takes over. Price still struggling a little bit with his leg, but Marne cutting well inside, but Price picks up the ball. On the right hand side, comes inside, lays it off. Low ball inside, there's the little ball inside by Price. I'm surprised he didn't shoot there. And the home defence clears it so that a uh, player can get some attention. Cordell to Gibbs, neatly played. But uh, the home side being forced back and given away. And there's a chance for McHugh and surely right foot, good save, he's got it back. Oh, and he saved it again. But really, McEwen ought to have scored. Oh, to take the corner, and really, Saracen should be a goal ahead now. In comes the cross, there's a header, and that's a fine goal. Beautifully nodded in by Barnard, and it's 1 0 to Cheltenham. Bowers getting the ball across to the right hand side and Smith. Right foot pass and that's a good one. Watts back to Bowers. Inside. To Goodall. Brignall getting it right as Cheltenham keep possession here, looking for the opening. 
Marne clipping it forward. There has to be a chance now, surely. Oh. And the skipper fell over and couldn't quite uh, get his foot to that. And that ball breaks. Can Grange get onto it? Now Cook has come out and booted it away. Good to take the uh, free kick for offside. And uh, Newant need to look for this equaliser and get their central strikers into the game. That's a really good tackle though by the uh, visitors. And there's the run. And that's Marne. He's going towards goal. The goalkeeper's got to come out. And there's a brilliant challenge. And that was Allard. So the home skipper on his last appearance for Newant at home. Leaves the field. Being replaced. And a uh, good round of applause for him. Jones coming towards him. Must be a very sad moment for the skipper. Watkins shakes his hand as well. I think uh, quite a number of the crowd don't realise the significance of this. But there goes Hayden Rust. Faithful servant of this club for a long, long time. Price down the line towards Watts. Is broken for Watts again. Back it goes towards Marn. Nice skill by him. Still got the ball. Two men on him. And still he goes. And he's got past them along the byline and wins the corner. Good dribbling. And Marn with the right side corner now for Saracens. Deservedly ahead in this game, despite the efforts of the the Newant players overcomes the ball. It's nodded on. Grange having to do the defending. And he's actually got away from Oliver. And look at Oliver go, trying to chase him. The ball is played down the line by Mikola, but I don't think Hawkins is going to get there. Back it goes to Cook. High boot into the air. Now the home side in a bit of trouble again. The ball is played to, to Bowers. Bowers hits a low shot just wide of the left post. Nicola pokes it through, but uh, cleared easily by the visitors. Watts trying to control it, but Higgs takes over on the left back station for Newant. Keeping possession, although it's uh, not good that time. They've given it away to Price. Little header to inside right. Surely this must be the second goal. No, Watts has skied it. Pushing the ball forward for Allard, but once again it's covered by the visitors, and uh, although they've given it away, home side not really finding a way through. They've brought blood on, and he's not been really involved as yet. Now, there goes Gibbs. It's a strong run, plays it through. There's got to be a chance one on one now, but that's struck straight at the goalkeeper. Ball given away. Brignall picks it up for the visitors. Now there's a chance through the middle. And it's Mar it's it's Watts still in with a chance here. He must surely set somebody up here. He tries the low shot, and that's a really good save. A quarter of an hour left in this game, and uh, the visitors have a corner. Left side. Marn takes it. There's a deep header, but over the bar. That was Barnard again, I think. Once again, the visitors pick up the goalkeeper's kick. And it's Marn, who's had a superb game on the wing. And uh, he has the throw to take. Substitute Joe Marn. Drops it back. And still the visitors have it. With Brignall. He's dispossessed by Jones. Home side trying to get away, but they've... Just because of Jones slipping, they've uh, lost possession again. In comes the cross, but the goalkeeper catches it. Oh, the ball is given away by the home side, but Brignall is challenged and Price doesn't get the opportunity, but that's been won back again. There's a right foot shot by Joe Marne, which goes wide. Newent with the ball again. Mikola looking for some kind of support, rolls it forward. But that's well won by Obi. Brignall helping him out, but given away. And 
and uh, I think the ref was going to give a free kick there. There's a chance for a shot, low shot, and it's gone across the face of goal. And he's going to give the free kick. Throw taken, and in comes the cross. Obi's there with a little header. Oh, goodness me, and it just rolled wide. Good, cleared that ball. The referee blew his whistle for full time, and Cholton Saracens held on to their 1-0 lead to win the game here at Newent Town by that single-headed Barnard strike. Newent Town nil, Cheltenham Saracens won.